Well, our marriage was transformed. When we began to implement the four laws of marriage, it, first of all, when I saw the four laws, what I realized was I've broken all of them every day. I had broke, I didn't know, I didn't know there were laws, but I had broken every law every day. When I, it was 22 years old by myself when I saw Genesis 2, 24, 25, and I thought I've broken every one of those laws. And the second thing I thought was, I'm gonna do that. They're not hard, they're very simple. And it begins with marriage has to be first. But see, that's why you fall in love. You fall in love because you put each other first. But what happens is that you begin to take each other for granted and you get married and then work. You begin to spend more time and energy and focus on work. For children, you know, children are wonderful, but children are a temporary assignment. Children come and we raise them, then they go. And we're still close to them, you know, as parents and then the in-laws and things like that, grandparents but they don't want us intruding on their lives. They want to have their own home. And so it's short-sighted to, uh, to put your marriage aside for the sake of your children. And by the way, how are your children gonna succeed in marriage if you don't show them how? And so they need you to be a role model. So when we raised our children, and our children have both been married over 25 years very successfully, and when we raised our children, we taught them to respect our marriage. We loved them, we spent time with them, but we taught them Mom and dad are gonna have their time together and you know we want you to respect that. Because see, if you don't teach your children to respect your marriage, you won't have a marriage because children don't, uh, don't recognize boundaries unless you teach them to recognize boundaries. And here's the boundary. First is our relationship with Jesus. Second is our marriage. Third is our children. And then there's work and church and all the other things that happen. Again, most marriages don't fail because of bad things. They fail because of good things or just simply out of priority. I hung up my golf clubs, I came home. Um, it transformed our marriage. Uh, we, we went from having a marriage almost divorcing into having a fantastic marriage where people were coming to us for help. We didn't tell anybody we could help them in marriage. People began, began to come to us for help. And after several years of our, our healing in our marriage and changing, Karen came up to me one day and said, I want you to go play golf. Well, she didn't have any problem with me golfing. She had a problem with me putting golf for her. And so your work is important, your children are important, church is important, all those things are important. Your friends are important, but they're not as important as your marriage. Social media, it's not as important as your marriage. And so you have to put marriage first. It's not a suggestion, it's a law. There's a law called the law of priority. And if you've put something in real terms, okay, this isn't just words, but in real terms, if you put something before your spouse, they're gonna become resentful of that go to them and say, I'm sorry. You know, tell each other that you're sorry. I'm sorry for putting the kids in front of you. I'm sorry for putting work in front of you. I'm sorry for putting sports in front of you and all those things. I want you to know that you're first. You'll never have to beg for my attention. You'll never have to beg for me to put something else to the side to spend time with you and pay attention to you. And that will heal your marriage. If you haven't been putting each other first, it's a law, the law of priority. And so let, let me lead you now in the prayer. This is from the book. This is the prayer for today. Dear Father, I believe your design for marriage is perfect. Holy Spirit, help me to obey the law of priority as I put you first and my spouse second above anyone else. In Jesus' name, amen. And here's the question for today. What changes do you need to make in order to uphold the law of priority? That's a good question to talk about if you need to make changes, and again, to apologize to each other and pray together again if you need to do that. But very important to put your marriage first. Now, one way you can use technology to support your relationship to build your marriage is a subscription to XO Now. You can support XO and get access to all of our great courses. Pick up your copy of our new 365-day devotional, I Will. The link is in the description of this episode, or you can visit store.xomarriage.com. Com. Now, there's the paperback, and there's also the imitation leather edition. And this is a, a, something you can buy for yourself. It's very important, you know, keepsake for your marriage, a resource for your marriage, but also as a gift edition. If you know somebody getting married uh, or an anniversary or something like that, this is a fantastic gift. There's actually a page here at the front where it's a presentation, and it says presented to, uh, presented from, the occasion, and the date. And this sure makes it special for someone getting married or celebrating a special anniversary or something. So get the I Will devotional for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. God bless you.